gasoline because she's a thirsty little bee. I fill this thing up too dang often. Why, hello, my beautiful people. Well, that's a good way to start off the ride after getting a full tank of gasoline. All right, I got some things to talk about today. Let's start with most recent one. I just had a gourmet meal made by my lovely wife. She made me some, some jerk chicken. I can see my pocket wide open over here in my mirror because I'm catching some major wind. Oh, both pockets. Oh, that feels so much better. All right made some jerk chicken all one pot type of thing I don't know it was freaking good though that's for sure first time she's made it two I totally sliced my middle finger on an f-18 today and uh, it hurt so bad like it cut through my nail halfway uh, yeah it was gushing blood everything so uh, it hurts to shift hurt to put a glove on but that's just kind of what I'm dealing with now so it's almost like I'm going to live like this for the rest of my life. Um, I'm taking these corners real quick. I'm just going to do a little loop around St. Augustine, hit these corners, hit uh, probably the roundabout, and then that'll be it. Alright, the main thing I wanted to talk about. I'm going to get this off right off the bat because it's a big, it's a big deal. Um, Sunday, which was two days ago now, I went on the ride in Jacksonville. We went up there, it was just kind of like, uh, where are we gonna ride? And then we were like, let's go to Jacksonville. There's a group meeting up there. We went up there and we rode up there. That day, I cannot remember or not if I said that I was gonna be riding in Orlando or not. But that day in Orlando, I was going to go down there and ride. I was going to meet up with a guy down there. He has a 1299. It's beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, I talked to him on Facebook, stuff like that, because there's going to be a big ride down there through the turns north of Orlando, through a national forest, and stuff like that. But I did not go on that ride because I didn't want to ride all the way down there even though I rode so much in Jacksonville. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to ride it. I don't know who was looking over me because I was totally going to ride on that ride. But the guy who has the 1299, his wife actually passed away that day on that ride. And uh, she is very safe, wears all of her gear, everything else, and it just, something happened and she passed away. In Oklahoma City that same day, the group I always would go on a uh, weekend ride with, the, the ZX-14 guys, um, there was a guy there. Who I've only met once. And we really didn't even meet, but we were ridden together. I think I rode together once or twice with him. He was on a ride that I would have been on most likely because I always went and ride, rode with him if I was still in Oklahoma City. And he also passed away. Two people in groups where one, I was supposed to be there. That same day when I was riding, at one point I looked behind me and when I did do that, I had drifted just a little bit to the left like this and there was a wall, like those concrete walls next to me with all the reflectors on them. And when I turned back around, I was like, man, if I would have hit that, tumbled, those things could have cut me up, anything could have beat me up. And I was like, what? 
would my wife do? What would my parents think? Everything else. They already worry about me enough, all of them. I ride stupid, I ride fast, I like to have fun. I do, but whenever that thought came into my mind, I was like, man, I need to like chill out a little bit because obviously there's not a lot protecting me. I wear my gloves, I wear my jacket, I have a helmet, uh, and I have boots. So that's about it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna chill out a little bit. Uh, yes, I like to do my wheelies and I do like to go fast, but I really want to start doing more track oriented stuff. Uh, if it's going to be the end of this year, I don't know. Uh, it's most likely going to be next year. But yeah, the those two deaths and then that one thought really opened my eyes. And I just, I'm really making this video for the people that I ride with and for the people that do watch me that do ride to just I know we all like to have fun I know like we like to do stupid stuff but man it is there's not a lot protecting us we're not invincible as much as I've ridden with people that think they are and I just don't want to lose anybody close to me man I know people that have lost people close to them and I, I don't want to do that. The two people that put on the rides for Oklahoma that I always rode with, they had two ZX-14s, father son, they always rode with that guy. And they went on a ride and he lost control around Stanley Draper, the lake that I always went around there because it was in my backyard. So many people have gone wrecked there. So many people have lost their life there as well. And it's not worth it. And it rained here, which sucks because I totally washed my bike twice on Sunday before I went on the ride and then after I went on the ride because it got super filthy dirty. So yeah, that was my main thing. Uh, please be careful, guys. You hear it all the time. If you don't have gear, please get some. You also hear dress for the ride, not for the slide. All oh, That was wrong. Dress for the slide, not for the ride all the time. Just pay attention and keep your head on a swivel, as they say in the Navy. Dude, why did it rain here? How am I supposed to go around a roundabout that's wet? I'm not freaking Rossi or Marquez who are experts in riding in the rain. I'm not. I had a moment where I just thought I wasn't recording and I about had a heart attack. <laughs> that would suck. Dude, my nail is getting caught on the inside of this and it hurts bad. It's damp. So I'm scared. Okay, see? Just slid a little bit. Don't want to do it again. I'll come back maybe in like 15 minutes. Maybe it'll be dry. Drop something! Freaking people littering and stuff, dude. Like, I watched you drop the bag of chips out your window. Why, hello there, Mr. Police Officer. And another one back there. And are we gonna go? It's green! It's green! Like 185? <laughs> Thanks, man. Stupid freaking trucks, dude. I don't understand it. <laughs> Just makes me mad. All the trucks I'm looking to buy are like that, almost. Why does every Camaro have to have a freaking transformer symbol on it? That light's messed up. Where is that? That light? I'm not sure what light I'm supposed to go on. I'm just gonna assume that I can go. How about that? There's, there's dryness. It's wet. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, I 
split again. <laughs> uh, no, nope, I'm done. I ain't doing it. I ain't dying today. Well, you guys, it's getting dark. My eyes are getting heavy. I do gotta wake up balls early, unfortunately. So, that means I have to head back home already. Give me some sleep. So I'm not miserable tomorrow, which will make me miserable the rest of the week. So this, in fact, is my farewell. I hope you all have a fantastic week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below if you did. I know I'm going to enjoy the next three days of no rain, so I'm going to be making videos all dang day because I'm not ahead. And I like to be ahead. At least one or two videos, I'm mother freaking head. So, like I said, I hope you all have a great mother freaking week. You know what I'm saying? And as always, have a great week, peace.